guys, um, my name's Amy and I just thought I'd jump on here um, to share with you a couple of reasons that I love Passion for Evangelism. Um, so back when it started, I went to the first ever Passion for Evangelism conference, um, literally because I knew someone who used to be a staff worker who was like, you must go. Um, and so I went um, and I'd never done any kind of evangelistic speaking. I'd never um, been to an all women's conference. Like it was so out of my comfort zone. It was so new to me. Um, but I went and I, and I loved it. And I just want to share with you a couple of reasons why I love it. Um, so firstly, I love it because um, it really built my confidence. It really encouraged me to keep trying to share the gospel. And that sounds silly, but sometimes you just you just need those those um, people around you to say, come on, like we can share the gospel. Let's glorify Jesus in everywhere we can here. And um, so that was incredible. Um, it was my first ever evangelistic talk. And the thing I really love about Passion Evangelism is I would say it's, it's a safe place to fail. Um, so doing my first ever talk was terrifying, but I did it to women who knew the battles of doing evangelistic talk. Um, some of them it was their first, some of them it was their 30th, you know, there was a, a range. Some of them it was their 100th. Um, but they knew the difficulties both in the, the just the writing it and the delivering it, but also in the heart battle of, of how am I... Um, how am I feeling about this? How much of my identity am I finding in this? Where's my pride? You know, all those kind of things. So to be encouraged with women who understood, who cared and who wanted Jesus to be proclaimed um, just gave me so much confidence to try and share the gospel. Um, so yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. And um, those women have basically in inspired me and pushed me to try and pursue opportunities to, to do evangelistic speaking outside of Passion for Evangelism. So my first got first ever talk, one of them was a staff who said, you should do this for your CU. And um, so I was helping a CU out at the time and I was just like, oh, I don't know if I can. And she really like kept saying it, kept saying it. So I did. And um, that was my first ever evangelistic talk to an audience that wasn't Christians. And so like, it's just really, really a wonderful place to be um, encouraged to be pushed. I love it because it's a really safe space to try something out, to try out sharing gospel in the way you haven't before or in a way you have um, loads of times, but you, you'd like some help. Um, you'd like some other people to speak into that. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. I would really encourage you guys um, to go to the conference if you can, make the most of the opportunity, particularly those small groups. They're the, they're the heartbeat of it, really. The getting to share, um, getting feedback, getting encouragement, getting um, challenged, getting pushed, all those kind of things. So yeah, I absolutely love it. Um, I could keep talking forever, but I'll stop. Thanks, guys.